All right, time to get to work. But first, let's see what's happening on Reddit. All right, what do we got here? What? Brackies is saying goodbye? Wow, it's actually true. Hmm, and by the looks of it, people are not taking it well. <laughs> Especially this guy. Yikes. Wait a second. Oh no. It's Barls. Oof, I better call him. Hey Barls, how's it going? Hey Charles. So you heard the news, huh? Yep, I heard. Bracky's quit. Well, he didn't really quit per se. He's just moving on to bigger and better things. Yeah, well, all the same, I think it's time for me to move on to. You move on? From game development? I don't know, man. I just feel stuck. Bracky's taught me everything I know about Unity. And honestly, I don't know how to get any better. <clears throat> well, yeah, of course, you always help me, but I don't want to have to bother you every time I have a problem. <laughs> Fair enough. So why don't you just check out some other game dev channels? I mean, don't get me wrong, Brackies is a legend. He even helped me get started with Unity. But there are plenty of other helpful tutorials out there too. Yeah, I guess you're right. But where do I even begin? I can give you some recommendations if you want. Sure, if you don't mind. Well, if you're looking for a channel that's similar to Brackies, recommend checking out Blackthorn Prod. Oh uh, yeah, I think I've heard of him. Yeah, he actually designed some of the game dev shirts over at Line of Code. Oh yeah, that's right. I need to get one of those. Yeah, me too. Now, if you're looking for more programming-centric tutorials, you'll definitely want to check out Jason Weinman and Sebastian Legg. Wait, hold on. Let me write this down. Oh, don't worry about it. I'll send you a list. Oh, good idea. Thanks. Right. So other than that, some of my personal favorites are Game Dev Guide, Saiku, and Mix and & Jam. Oh. And of course, infallible code. <laughs> right, right, infallible code. Don't worry, I've already subscribed, liked, hit the bell, and everything else you asked me to do. <laughs> Good man. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I can start checking out some of these channels then. Definitely. I recommend that you find a tutorial series that you like and then just follow along with it. Follow along? You mean like in Unity? Of course. Don't you already do that? Eh, sometimes. Oh, Barls, you're leaving a lot on the table. Really? Oh, yeah. When I find a tutorial, I always try to watch it once, then rewatch it while following along, and then I try to recreate the entire tutorial from memory. Wow, that's a lot of work. Well, what can I say? If you wanna learn, you gotta put in the work. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Speaking of putting in the work, you should really start thinking about investing in your education. Investing? How so? Courses. There are plenty of great game dev and Unity courses on sites like Udemy and Skillshare. I'll add some links to that list. Hmm. Okay. And is it pretty much the same idea as watching a YouTube series and just follow along in Unity and all that? Yep. Except that courses tend to be more focused and organized and almost always include downloadable content to make it easier for you to get started. Oh, nice. Yeah, there's some really great ones out there. And what's cool about courses is that they tend to have projects that are more fleshed out, like complete games. What? Yeah, so what I like to do is work through an entire course and then try to add my own game mechanics to the end project. It's an easy way to test my knowledge. Huh, that is a great idea. Should definitely try it. Oh, I will. Do you have any other advice? Actually, I do. And it's probably the most important thing you can do to become a better game developer. Really? Well, what is it? Make games. <laughs> Make games? Don't I already kind of do that? Do you? Well, to be fair, they're all technically prototypes, but I spend a lot of time on them and I feel like they're fun to play. Well, sure, don't get me wrong, they're great but they aren't finished, which means there's still so much to game development that you haven't even experienced yet. No way, man. Like what? <laughs> Where do I begin? There's the fun stuff like storytelling, level design, puzzle creation, uh, difficulty tuning, and things like that. And then there's the not so fun stuff like responding to player criticism, managing your player base, deploying your game to different platforms, and patching bugs in your released game. Darn, when you put it like that, I guess I really haven't done a lot. This is overwhelming. <laughs> yeah, it may seem that way, but I promise, you get the hang of it once you get a couple games under your belt. Easy for you to say. How am I supposed to just create and release a bunch of games? I'm glad you asked. The trick is to limit your scope as much as possible. Limit my scope? In other words, 
Keep your game simple. Pick one or two game mechanics that you want to explore, and that's it. Hmm. Here, take the game Snake, for example. You move your snake around the screen, grow when you eat a pellet, and then die if you crash into yourself. That's it. Okay, I see what you're getting at. Those are simple enough game mechanics to implement. And so once I do, I can finish the rest and learn all the other skills that you mentioned. Exactly. In fact, why don't you start with that? Try to recreate Snake and Unity using the simplest implementation possible. Okay, I think I can do that. Of course you can. <laughs> you know, I'm actually pretty excited to get started now. Good, I'm glad to hear that. You had me worried for a minute there. Sorry, man, I was just blowing off steam. It's part of my process. <laughs> I hear you. Well, I won't keep you any longer. Start checking out some of the links on this list and let me know if you need anything. Will do. Thanks for putting that together. And thanks for talking me off the ledge there. Anytime, Barls. Anytime. Take care. You too. Later, Charles. Special thanks to Alwyn, Amar, Christian, DJ Weaver, Dustin, Glasswell Entertainment, Jennifer Irwin, Mighty Possum, Nav from Academy of Games, Pichar Bungo, R-Star, Surav, Thomas, Trond, Umut Surind, Usafali Castle, and Uriser. Thank you all.